was the defeat to Dunfermline in the League Cup. Kyle Turner's just walked away from him and come to the edge of the box and the shot's gone straight into the face of Langen, who's got up, looks to not be phased after taking that from Thomas Robert. Welcome back to the first team, Rory. Have that. That was absolutely drilled right into sort of the top of Rory Langen's skull. That was a painful one. I think he has gone a wee bit red. Do you, think, do you think if he'd played the last six games, he'd have stayed in a little bit longer there? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would have done. I would have been knocked clean out by that, to be honest. It was As we mentioned, he won't be happy with that on a personal level. No Dale Carrick tonight, of course. Airdrie top scorer, joint second top scorer in the league. What a hit that is from Langen. Real threatening shot from the central midfielder. Best chance of the game so far for Suns. Yeah, where did that come from? It's completely out of the blue and not something that we associate with Rory Langan at all with shots like that from the edge of the box. At first I had to double take, I thought it might have been Ross Forbes, but a really good effort from Rory Langan, just a tiny bit too high. Flick on from Duthie, there's just too many bodies in there for it to be effective. Wardrop takes on O'Reilly with great success, flick on found his way to Wallace and he tried to take it on the half turn and get Should a shot away on the left foot. Yeah, I wonder, James Wallace obviously got the ball into his left and just kind of got a shot away, but I do wonder if he maybe would have been better teeing up uh, Thomas Brindley, who looked in a good position, especially on his left foot, to maybe drill that across Max Curry and in on goal. It's great confidence from the young forward to take it on the turn like that, though, especially considering he'd only had 44 minutes of football before joining and just one sub appearance it's come all the way into Curry and he's punched it off his own man hasn't he it will be another corner another chance for Dumbarton referees always give fouls after they've had a word at the corner so I'm expecting a free kick or a penalty probably a free kick Forbes floats it in Morgan Neal was right underneath that Forbes has another chance on the left it's just too low Jack Mackay gets rid Thomas Robert working very hard and he's lost out to the linesman there. But <laughs> certainly no stranger to letting a match official know what he thinks of his decision making. And there is the half time whistle and it has been a game of few chances. How often have I said that this season? But perhaps the best chance fallen to Rory Lang and fires it over the bar and it remains goalless at the break. It's no Gavin. repeat of Huntley, where we uh, allegedly didn't notice a half-time substitution. Yeah, I'm just forgetting about that one. Yeah, if you have spotted one, keep it to yourself. Just keep all shockers to yourself regarding this. That'll do. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, please keep your feedback to yourself. Paul Mackay stretches his legs. Thompson does well to get away from cross, and, and it's a goal <laughs> headed into the back of the net. And it's Ali Roy, the substitute, who has punished Dumbarton. I have to say, it was a really, really, we spoke about a player having that wee spark about him. It was a really good run by Craig Thompson to open up the space, pulled in a really nice ball. I think Sam Ramsbottom will be a wee bit disappointed maybe that he kind of came for it and didn't get there, but it was arcing away from goal and then Suns didn't defend it. Ali Roy looked like being the man who got in the end of it. It was difficult to tell from up here, but... Looked like Ali got it. Once again, another player returning to haunt Dumbarton as the two low knees combine. I do remember Suns time wasting against Hamilton a few years ago in a game that they were at one stage 3-1 up at and uh, Hamilton equalised in the 96th minute to make it 3 all. <laughs> you all right about that one? <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing about that was that the ref said the ball was still in play. Suns had taken it to the corner, much like Airdrie done at the moment. So the ball's still in play. And... Uh, <laughs> And the referee added on time for the ball being in play, but in the corner. Now, I don't understand that one. It's a couple of cynical challenges. First was Connell, and it's a straight red card. Well, 
for Ross Forbes. Well, that is... In a, the first minute of added on time. There's two ways you can look at that. Um, first of all, Craig Thompson, I think it was, who had taken the ball away, took the ball away and was holding on to it, and Ross Forbes basically just booted it off him. Was it enough to warrant a straight red? I mean... I'm not sure that counts as violent conduct, but given the performance we've seen from Gavin Ross tonight, it shouldn't be too much of a surprise to see him chucking cards around left, right and centre. Tempers were just frayed after that Connell tackle moments before. Yeah, What you'd have to say from Ross Forbes' point of view is that a player of his experience should know better. Now, that's kind of much like I said about the Falkirk sending off on Tuesday night, is that it might be a harsh decision, but he's given the referee a decision to make and you know given the sort of we, we know that the referee tonight has been quite officious he's been quite picky with things you're always going to be running a, a dangerous game when you do that so I don't think Ross Forbes can have too many complaints on the basis that you should know better and the flick on was from Neil to Crossan here is PJ Crossan there might still be one last chance in it for this Sun's side Morgan Neil has been voted your man of the match tonight for Dumbarton Ian Murray screaming on the touchline once again and the ball is just hoofed into the air by a Diamonds defence and it's out of play from Sam Wardrop and that might just be it. There has been a stoppage for that red card of course into the third minute of injury time. Another two home games to come after Aberdeen of course, Montrose and East Fife and there goes Gavin Ross's full time whistle and it was the Airdrie number 10 just about 10 minutes from time who came back to haunt Dumbarton with the winner which condemns Jim Duffy's men to a third consecutive 1-0 home defeat.